Fashion in the 90s was bold and sometimes weird. Nothing captured the look of the decade better than NHL jerseys. Here are the nine most memorable. Number nine. The Islanders fish stick jersey debuted in 1995 when ownership was trying to invigorate the fledgling franchise. They were going for a Long Island fisherman inspired by Billy Joel's The Down Easter Alexa, but ended up with a cheap knockoff of the Gorton Frozen Seafood logo. Number eight. Sticking with New York, the Rangers deviated from their iconic original six sweater design with a classy Lady Liberty logo in 1996. This jersey is often regarded as one of the better 90s alternates. Number seven. The Rangers original six counterpart in Boston wasn't nearly as successful with its alternate jersey. The Bruins infamous Winnie the Pooh sweater hasn't aged quite as well. Number six. One jersey that's gone from ridiculed to revered is the Mighty Ducks Wild Wing jersey. The cartoonish aesthetic wasn't a good look for a struggling hockey team named after a Disney children's movie, but now that the Ducks have dropped the Mighty from their team name and have a Stanley Cup under their belt, it's now remembered more fondly. Number five. The Tampa Bay Lightning are another 90s expansion team that went a little crazy. They too won a Stanley Cup like the Ducks, but the Bolts can't be forgiven for their thunderstorm-inspired sweater, complete with lightning bolt arms. Number four. In 1995, the Washington Capitals traded in their red, white, and blue for a look that was meant to be more aggressive and patriotic, but came off docile and bureaucratic with its federal-inspired colors and font. Number three. No NHL team has had a jersey history as colorful as the Vancouver Canucks. In 1997, their bold Halloween colors and ice skate logo were replaced with a more chill Pacific Northwest vibe that introduced cooler colors and an ice-breaking orca. Number two. The original Winnipeg Jets franchise abandoned its blue, white, and red for desert colors in 1996 when the team relocated to Phoenix. In 1998, the debut of the Coyotes' attempt at an alternate jersey felt more like a bad peyote trip than a hockey sweater. Number one. In 1995, the Quebec Nordiques in their iconic blue, white, and red colors relocated to Denver, becoming the Avalanche and adopting different shades of blue and red. With Hall of Famers Joe Sackick, Patrick Waugh, and Peter Forsberg hoisting the Stanley Cup their first season in the Mile High City, the team's immediate success in their mountain-inspired burgundy and blue sweaters made them instant classics.